This Harry Potter clothing from Goblet of Fire, I now have two versions. Let's take a closer look. If you've been following me for some time, then you know that I love including Harry Potter clothing wherever I can. Now, I would normally wear this type of clothing to attractions like the Harry Potter Studios, to conventions, to events, or day-to-day -day life wherever I can, really. And the first to bring out this type of clothing was Cine Replicas, with Harry and Cedric's Triwizard Tournament third task tops. And I thought they were amazing. And they also brought out a scarf that Neville wears when he's watching, well, when he's off to watch the second Travels at Tournament task. And they also brought out a brand new item, which I'll go through in just a moment. So after these being out for quite some time, now Wonder Brothers have decided to bring out their own version of their Travels at Tournament tops. And you can get them in Ravenclaw and Slytherin, and you can get them with custom names on the back. So I was like, I already have these in replica ones, but I really want to get a Harry and a Cedric version so I can compare. But I'm like, do I need them? Of course I got them, <laughs> but at least that means now I can show you what they look like too. So starting with Cedric's, which is the first that I purchased from Cine Replicas, here's how it compares to the one from the Harry Potter Studios. Most notable differences are, the yellows are very different. The embroidered patches differ too. But how vibrant the Studio Tour one is, and that the Hufflepuff section has yellow in it. Additionally, the name on the back is different. Where the Cine Replicas version is screen printed, because the Studio Tour tops are bespoke, they appear to be iron-on embroidered letter patches. Here is Harry's Try Wizard Tournament top, and this is how it compares to the version from the Harry Potter Studios. These also have different reds, The embroidered patches differ once again. The name too, where the Cine Replicas version is screen printed, and because the Studio Tour tops are bespoke, these are different coloured iron-on embroidered letter patches. I guess we shouldn't be surprised that the Harry Potter Studios brought out their own version of these tops, because a while back, Cine Replicas had this version of the Hogwarts scarf out, and then the Harry Potter Studios brought out their own version, so we should have known something was brewing. The way that the scarves compare are actually quite similar. Where the colours and the stripes occur, they're pretty similar, but the main differences are the embroidered patches and the thickness. The Harry Potter Studios scarf is thinner in size, but thicker in quality because it is double. I have to say that the tops and the scarf from the Harry Potter Studios are pretty fantastic. I mean, the cut is superb, the colors are vibrant, and the quality is just amazing because of the embroidery that's included, like not only from the patch at the front, but also the name letters at the back. They are just, they're just really, really very good. I mentioned another new Cine Replicas product early on, and they've just brought out some new Harry Potter clothing from the Goblet of Fire, and it's this jacket that Harry wears on the way to the second Triwizard Tournament task. When comparing it to the film, I would say it's pretty close. The mesh fabric is there, the clasps are present, the two stripes, and of course, Potter on the back. This is the first time that this jacket has been available and I must say that I'm very pleased to add to my collection and that it is actually a very good replica that is now available and I must just say I'm very looking forward to and hoping that they will bring out a Hufflepuff version of this because even though we didn't see it you know that Cedric would have been wearing a Hufflepuff version of this on his way to the second task and this Hufflepuff needs that. <laughs> So there we are, that's the new Harry Potter clothing from the Goblet of Fire. Let me know which is your favourite. Of course, Ravenclaw and Slytherin are available too. I just got these because these were in the film. And I will be leaving links for them, so look out for those. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do me a favour and click that subscribe button and turn on notifications so when there's a new video, you'll be notified. Be sure to give this video a like, and with that, remember, the Wizarding World is just one spell away.